Just in case they ain't get the picture the first time around. I see you hate her. My motivator. Y'all make me greater. It's been four days since I painted the truck. I just been letting it sit out here in the shop, letting it harden up before I put the weather stripping and stuff back on. I gotta slide the bed up. But I'ma let it sit probably at least another week. I'ma let it sit out in the sun. So I'ma put the wheels and slide the bed back up. And put the glass back in. And I'll pull it outside then. I guess in a week I'll cut y'all back on. We'll get started on the cutting buff because that's what I'm going to do next. So y'all stay tuned. It's going to be three seconds. The power of video editing. OBS been sitting, I would say, almost two weeks. I've been letting it sit out here while I was doing other things. Letting it clear harden up before I start sanding on it. It should be good and dry now. As you can see it's, it's a lot of dust been laid on it. But before we start uh, cutting and buffing, because that's what we're about to do now, we're going to clean it up first because we don't want to start sanding on it with all this debris and limbs don't fell on it. So once I clean it up, we'll pull it inside and get started. Got my soapy water. About to start wet sanding. Got the truck in here. Still got a little water up here on the roof, but, well not roof, the hood. But it don't matter because I'm finna wet sand it anyway, so ain't gonna be no problem. And I'm gonna be hand blocking. I'm gonna use some 1500 grit. This for the DA. I'm just gonna take a sheet and wrap it around my block. If I can get a sheet out right quick. Gotta find my block as well. Here we go. I'm gonna be using this rigid block. I could use the DA with an interface pad, but I like to hand block it first with 1500 because it cut it. You'll get it a lot smoother with a rigid block than on a DA with an interface because it's just going to glide over the orange peel. And it's a lot faster, I think, with doing it by hand with the block. But I'm just going to be going in the X pattern. And it's not going to take much because it's pretty much smooth now. But I'm going to show it to you. Let me uh, dry this off and I'm going to show it to you what it looks like right quick. Once it's dry, we'll be able to see the orange peel a lot better from them free passes with the 1500 that I did. I'm gonna get the blower so I can blow it off so it'll dry a lot faster so I can show you. And now we can see the orange peel a lot better. I don't see no area that's flat like I want it. Maybe right here. We need to get it all like this here. So I'm going to continue. Once I get it like this in this spot, i right, cut y'all back on. I had jumped on this side while I let this here dry. Looks like it's dry now. I can show you what I was talking about. You can see right here, it's good and flat. Still some orange peel there. Still need to come down some more. But right here it's good. Let's continue. I probably put y'all on 10 laps till I do one side of this hood. 
then we're expecting some more. I just wanted to cut you back on and show you the progress. I've been jumping around, as you can see. Got the hood taken care of. I'm not gonna worry about getting up in there. To keep from trying to buff that back. I'm gonna leave it as it is. You're not gonna be able to tell once I bring the shine back to the rest of it. Same way with this here. But I still gotta do this bottom half of the door. I done did the top here. Still gotta do the rest of the roof. I started on this back here. Still gotta finish this up. I just been jumping around. I haven't done the tailgate. I'm over here now. On this SS wing, it got like a contour. It's not flat, so you don't want to use this rigid block because when you start blocking it, you'll miss this middle part. So I'll be using this flex block. Got a little gear on it. Just wanted to show you that. See if I can show you. I pretty much got all the blocking done. My head working on this bumper now. I'm not blocking nothing but this front section here. I'm not gonna worry about this lower section or the top. Ain't no trash in it, and it's, it's not much orange peel. Same way with the truck. I'm not bothering about blocking this down here. Also the lower row pan, nothing below this line here. Cause there's no trash landed on it. But you can see the rest of it all blocked down. 
you know, walk around the truck. Oh, this block down with 1500. I was gonna use 1500 on the DA and go over it. I did that on my last car. I'm always doing things different every time I cut buff. I'm still trying to find that perfect recipe. Cause there's all kind of ways you can do it. As long as you follow the basic steps, you can get it done. But I still haven't found that perfect recipe after all the years. Well, let me pull this tailgate down because I got what we're going to be using next in the bed. This next step, we're going to be wet sanding, but I call it mist sanding because I'm going to be misting the water on with a spray bottle. And we're going to be using this DA. It's the Bigfoot Duetto by Rupes, 12 millimeter throw. It's got like a rigid pad that's built onto it. And we also got these foam pads. This 1500. We're gonna skip this. We're gonna go to 2000 to get them 1500 blocking scratches out that we just did. Like I said, they got a foam backing on it. It gives it some give. Like when you go over Contours like this here, it won't dig into it. So we're gonna put a pad on and plug up our sander. Then we'll get started. You gotta make sure it's on the center. I guess we'll start right here. I got my spray bottle. I missed some on the pad. Also on the surface, don't take much. I'm gonna be going vertical and diagonal. Let me get my rag and I'll wipe that and we'll see the difference from this here with the 2000 and the 1500. You just, you see I just did a square. I wasn't trying to do the whole panel at one time. Once it dry, you'll be able to see it. Let me get the air holes. All right. As you can see, this square here, it's a lot shinier than this. As you move up in grit, it's going to get shinier and shinier. Now, I could just start buffing these 1500 scratches with the block, but it's going to take a lot longer trying to buff these scratches out than these 2000 scratches. So that's what you want to do. You don't want to start off trying to buff these 1500 because you're going to put a lot of heat on your panel trying to get that shine back. If anything, you want to wet sand more than trying to buff because you put less heat on the panel. I'm not going to show you the rest of it. It's just going to be the same process. I might put you on time lapse and show you some of it through time lapse. But other than that, I'll cut y'all back on once I finish these 
2000. We'll finish this 2000 grit. Good. Here's all the 2000 on the DA. Same number sand and paste. It's actually the clear turned into paste. Now I take my rag and I wipe this down. I could move up to 3000. That's just going to make my buffing a lot faster but I'm gonna skip the 3000 and go straight to buffing like I said I always like to do it different each cutting buff I can say this 3000 that's 1500 here go to 3000 here we're gonna skip that this time here's the gas lid once I wipe this down I got up all my buffing stuff that we're going to be using this time. Then we'll get started with the buff. Okay, we're going to be using a rotary to do the buffing. In my last video, we used the DA, but like I said, I like the Every video I like to do it different, show you different ways of doing it. And we're gonna be using the wool pad, which I already got one on there for the compound. This is not 3M, it's Meguiar's, this cheap compound here. I just be refilling it. That's what I'm about to do now. Put some more in there, in my uh, jug here. Looks like I'm wasting it. I'm gonna fill it up, then I plug up my my rotary. I had got this rotary from the uh, Harbor Freight here. It's digital, and I guess we'll start on the hood somewhere. I guess we'll start right here. I know I said the hood. But you're gonna need a microfiber cloth. Let's wipe it down first. And you wanna go into the edges. You don't wanna come back this way. Just say this edge here. You wanna go into it from that direction, not this direction here. Because it could get hung up and you'll burn through real fast like down here I'm gonna rotate clockwise into it I'm gonna put some compound on here guess we'll do this section here I'm gonna start off I'm gonna wipe it first then I start off at 10 that's a thousand RPMs then I crank it up to about 1500 the faster well the more RPMs you got the faster you're gonna have to move I think 1500 is good working speed starting off if you ain't used to uh, buffing
we're gonna wipe this and I'll show you what we got. Let me put this buffer down. Now you can see the difference. I still gotta go back over it, but I just wanted to show you the process. How fast the shine came back. See, I got the hood done first round up now I got some panel prep it ain't nothing but water and alcohol a mixture you want to use this because if you don't if you just wipe it the compound can still be in the scratches just sitting on top of the surface and you'll never know until you go outside and wash it and then you'll see dull spots so you want something to be able to get that compound up because I got to do another pass on it to make sure I got all the uh, dull layers. Probably could see some now. Still see some scratches here now. Finished up with the front bumper. Also the truck. Finished up with all the compound. And we'll walked around it. I still gotta wipe it down with this panel wipe. The alcohol and water mix. I think I'm done for the night after I wipe it down. Then in the morning, I'll come back out here and do step two. This is gonna be a two step. You could do a three step, one step, I'm gonna do a two step. I'm gonna compound it, then I'm gonna polish it after the compound. And then you can also do a three step or fine polish. But I think a two step would be good on this here. So let me wipe it down. And in the morning, we'll get back started. Everything should be dry. Then I should be able to see all my dull spots. Hopefully I don't have many. It was the following morning. And then you can see, you can still see the scratches. And it's cloudy. And some airs, especially right here. We're gonna use the DA for step two. Put the rotary down. It's the DA we're gonna be using. It's the Bigfoot Rupes, 15 millimeter throw. And I think I'm gonna use a microfiber pad. And the compound, I might use this compound here. It's the Uno one pair. This is supposed to be like a one step compound. Or I could use the polishing compound. But this here, it's a little thicker. It'll remove the scratches a lot easier than the, uh, the polishing. Let me hook this big foot up, then we'll get started. First, we gotta prime the pad. 
we're gonna put four drops just to prime it we'll be putting it in one area for about 10 to 15 seconds cutting it on speed of four That should be good though. Now we'll get started. We'll put two more drops on it. Take it down and show you. You can see the difference there. This is what I did, and this is what I have them down. Alright, let me show you what I've done. You can see the difference. This is what I've done. finished up with everything except wiping it down I actually switched up pads I told y'all all I was going with this microfiber pad but I switched up to this one here this foam pad that's a fine foam pad this is an ultra fine this is a medium wool pad and this is a coarse microfiber pad I went with this one here but I'm going to get my fresh microfiber cloth so I can wipe it down. Then I'll cut y'all back on once I get to wiping it down. Remove this tag. Like I wiped it down good enough to show you the results. I still got to get into the cracks, like the jams. But I just wanted to wipe the exterior part. Then I might find some more spots that I might got to go over once I wash it. But everything looking good so far. Take it to the other side. It's 
Still gotta wax it also. But I'm gonna let the owner do the waxing once she get it back. I guess tomorrow I'll start putting everything back on, such as the tail lights, the tag, and third brake light, all the glass, the handles mirrors the window sweeps the wiper cow I had fiberglass that antenna front bumper grill headlights pretty much everything y'all stay tuned for that video and the final reveal I got the yeah, it's kept here. Thing got kind of dusted up, but that's it. Y'all get in the comment section. Tell me what y'all think. Stop